All right, so then in this video, um, I'm gonna be showing you, this is gonna be part two of the series. This is gonna be how he does the calculator trick. And I'm telling you guys right now, this is a super, super, super easy trick. Um, basically, you can use any calculator. The iPhone calculator works the best because you can do the plus zero times method and you'll see what I'm talking about. So David, um, they cut away once he tells the guy to, um, you know, in the video he says plus, he says okay and then plus. And David somehow gets the number he wants inputted into the phone. So there's a few things that you don't see. Um, so this is just going to be how to get a very, very close, close um, representation of what he does. But I'm pretty sure he probably uses the plus zero times method. And I'll show you what that means right now. So before you start the trick, just take out a sequence of numbers or sequence of number cards. In this case, um, we have this here. So let's say we have five, seven, six. This is upside down for me. So let me look at this. So we take five, seven, six, five, seven, six, nine, five, three. So this is the number you start off with, okay? It can be any number you want. Um, I would suggest choosing, you know, a six digit number just because it's big enough. If you have a few people and you each have them, you know, multiply, you know, a three digit number, kind of makes sense. You don't, wanna, you don't want them to all be, you know, multiplying, you know, like numbers with four digits and then all of a sudden you only get a small number in the hundreds of thousands, so it wouldn't make sense. So I do a few people, multi have them multiply three digit numbers. And what you do is then you take this sequence of cards, you put it on top of the deck and that's it, you started the trick, right? The next thing you have to do is take this calculator and what you do is you click plus zero times, right? So you do plus zero times, that's it. The calculator looks fresh except for you do have the times button push. You know, a lot of people really aren't gonna notice that and it doesn't even matter if you have the calculator here and you just open it up, okay? And you just kind of, all right, let's go to the calculator here it looks super, super natural. So the next thing you do is you can go up to literally anybody and I'll show you how it works. You plug in a three digit number. You say, okay, can you multiply that by anything? Just keep, you know, you can have them multiply anything. And the moment you click equals, it's going to be five, seven, six, nine, five, three, whatever number you did plus zero times. And that's the beauty of the trick. So let's start it off plus zero times. Start the trick off, you know, Plus zero times. So the zero here. What you're gonna do is just you know lock your phone, do whatever, and then when it's time, you're gonna pull it back out. So you can do a couple you know false triple shuffles. So right, let's go ahead and mix up the deck a little bit just to make sure it's you know random and whatnot. And you're just keeping that sequence of cards on top of the deck. And the next thing you do is you have the spectators go through, and you'll have them plug in any sequence of numbers into. The phone times times it doesn't matter they can do literally as much as they want but like I said it's not gonna make sense if you do too many numbers and the number isn't big enough so again so you show your spectators okay so we have five seven six nine five three at the very end of the trick five seven six nine five three so that is essentially the trick it is super, super cool, super easy. You guys can do this in a matter of seconds. You just have to have an iPhone calculator and a brain, and I swear you'll be able to do this trick. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to do so. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.
ね。